Day 2015. What are you paying? What are you buying? And whether you are getting your money's worth. It's been said that April is the cruelest month. I think that pretty much captures how Americans feel as tax day approaches each year. You know, taxes were already too complicated. Now, because of Obamacare, it is much worse. A couple months ago, as you know, the administration announced that it had sent out about 800,000 uh, incorrect tax statements. 40% of the calls that the IRS is receiving from taxpayers are not being answered. The IRS, a federal agency that frankly makes most Americans apprehensive. And our current tax code is very complex and it also tends to punish investment, hard work, savings, marriage, and having a family. It's not surprising that nine out of 10 small business owners have to turn to an outside paid professional to figure out their taxes. Washington this morning, leaders of both parties are backing a plan to let Congress sign off on a nuclear agreement with Iran. But today, on a unanimous basis, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee said, no, you must submit this deal to Congress, to the United States Senate. On behalf of the American people, the Senate will That's go right. through every detail. This legislation allows us to have a seat at the table. The biggest problem we have right now is that every time there's a hint of an agreement, the Iranian foreign minister tweets out in English that the agreement doesn't mean what our government says it means. They sent us here so their voices could be heard, particularly on issues of national security. We're at the 100-day mark of this new Congress. We have an opportunity now to make a difference, and we need to do that. The Senate successfully passed legislation to start construction of the Keystone XL pipeline. Uh, last month, the Senate Budget Committee took an important first step in helping to change the way we do business here in Washington by reporting out a balanced budget. The Senate is under new management. Things are changing, and soon, We'll conference with the House to work out a final budget that can be passed by the full Congress. Say, for really the first time in a long time, we're trying to get back to where this business is done, the people's business is done, the way it should be done. This bill represents more than two years of hard work on both sides of the Capitol, and it represents a real step forward for bipartisan health care policy. After years of this chamber being used solely for the purpose of messaging, and conducting political show votes, we actually are starting to get some things done. Well, this is definitely one way to make a Senate Finance Committee hearing interesting. Take a listen. On that issue, as well as on the geographic uh, preference issue. Ah, come on. <laughs> Just let it go, Mr. Uh, 